Hello, fellow engineers. It's just me, sire. Oh yes, quite right, quite right. Well, anyway, welcome back to. Uh, 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 have you have you actually tried? Diplomacy in this game. No, quiet. Welcome back to Diplomacy is not an option. Ignore this fellow down here. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And essentially, this is sort of where we left off last time. Those with a keen eye might remember this isn't exactly what happened at the end of last episode. Uh, and there's a bit of a story behind that. But first, I do actually need to defend myself. So I'm going to come down here and pick Astral Ray. And I'm going to get rid of some of those troops. Thin them down. Thin them down. Uh, yeah, really need to make sure I defend myself here. I think our castle gate is about to go down. I might give him another astral ray if I'm honest. Get back! Get back! Damn architects. All right, okay, that's not too bad. I think we've just about defended ourselves. Go on, Spider-Man, get involved, get involved. Give him the old sword, that's it. I think we just about survived that attack. And essentially, this is exactly where we left off at the end of last episode, although I've completely had to redo the save. Do you remember at the start of last episode, I had that weird growth coming out of my castle? Well, that should have been a sign to me that something wasn't quite right. Basically, at the end of the last episode, I couldn't actually save my game, so I lost all my progress. And I, I spoke to the devs and basically what happened was they did an update and it made all your old save files not work. But I didn't realise that so I was still using my old save file. Anyway, save file updated. If you caught my last stream, you will have seen that I actually streamed to get to this place in the game which is the exact same day that we ended last episode. Uh, what's all that noise over here? You, Mr. Catapult. You're aggroing those people, aren't you? That's not very sensible. But anyway, let's rebuild our gate that got destroyed. So, gate, where are you going, catapult? Come back. This is just a very naughty catapult. He should not be copied. You're a good catapult. You do good things. We're doing okay. We just about defended that attack. Uh, I feel like we need to upgrade this wall because it's currently wooden, which isn't great. So, first off, let's select all of that. And then we can just say upgrade and that will upgrade it to the next tier so that will be stone and then we'll just extend it with the stone walls over to there and uh, next up i'm probably going to need some more people so i might upgrade a few of these houses it only costs 14 stone to upgrade each one so i'll do like four or something for now that'll give me a few more people to play with as well uh, i might also upgrade my food storage we seem to be struggling with that a bit and we'll delete this one because they have fished all the fish nado up so we may as well destroy that. Then we get the resources back and we get the people back. All right, the next thing I want to do, I probably want to upgrade something, actually. It could be worth giving our spearmen 40% health. That is a lot of strength. I'm going to do that. And maybe we want to do sturdy concrete after that to make all of our towers a bit stronger. Uh, but also, this is our engineering guild. Uh, it allows us to build catapults. But if we upgrade it, we'll be able to build a ballista and trebuchets, which sound very fun. So we're going to upgrade that for... 30 wood, 10 stone, 25 iron, and 5 gold. We got 21 gold, so I think that's good. It might be worth trying to get a bit more gold. It's been on market, we can trade the resources we have for ones we don't. So we want gold. We could perhaps get rid of some stone. Maybe just half of it. Sounds good. Trade. And then the ship flies off with our stone and it comes back with gold in a bit. Right, I've just been told our research is complete, so I will go and do the stone dirty concrete next. Is there anything else I want to do? Maybe big rocks to give catapults 25% hit area. Oh, and on the map, we've still got the attack going on. Oh, he's got caught. What a silly architect. He can't get around the lake. All right, I'm going to send a Spider-Man up there to go take him out. All right, look at this. Look at the bravery in our Spider-Man. Ready? Boosh. Boosh. And he's down. So now the wave is over. We've got five days until our next wave because it says here the enemy squad will attack on day 40. It's currently day 35. So I think we probably want to build some stone towers on this wall. So maybe something like that because we've got quite a lot of catapults dotted about. It's just a case of knowing where they're going to attack from. And maybe up here I need to think about doing. We literally have no defenses up there. And then over here, not too bad. But yeah, very worried about that area. Maybe I could do with building some towers along here as well. Right, I feel like food, could it be a bit better? Is it worth upgrading one of my farms? It costs a fair bit of resources, but it gives us more people that we can put in it so we make more food. I think I'll do that just in case. Oh no, there's another fishing hut that's used up their fish nado, so we'll destroy that. And then we got 28 people 
there. They're probably all going to be like part of my army. Or perhaps, because we've now unlocked the Engineer Guild too, perhaps we could make them Ballistas or Trebuchet people. I'm very intrigued by the Trebuchets. Let's build six. Why not? I remember reading somewhere. Was it in here? Was it in the massive tower? So this is a normal tower. It can fit a catapult on top. And this is a massive tower that can fit four catapults on top. I'm pretty sure that will only fit one Trebuchet though. So they might be pretty big. We'll have to see. I'm going to shove some catapults catapults on these walls and then i am gonna train some crossbowmen uh, just so i can put them on this gate i like to have all my gates covered oh no look down here look we've run out of stone i'm pretty sure yeah no stone to mine so we'll demolish that we'll get 30 wood and six people back same with that one Ooh, same with this iron mine down here oh look there's loads of zombies attacking shut the gate shut the gate i've just about shut the gates those have i built the crossbowmen i have built the crossbowmen so we'll put them on the gates so things like that can't happen in the future oh look look I think these are the trebuchets. Look how big they are. They're like lorry trebuchets. They've got like eight wheels. Right, I'm going to shove one on this tower and see what it looks like. And then the other two, I might bring one down to that wall. One up there. And I think that's all of them sorted now. Ideally, I'd like to build massive towers everywhere. Uh, but I also want to know what direction they're going to attack from before I waste time and money. Still sod it. I'm going to gamble. We haven't had an attack down this end yet. So maybe I'll build one there. They can't attack from down that end again, surely. They might do. They really might do. I'll, I'll build two just in case. And then I've completely abandoned up here. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do two like that. All right. Meanwhile, might upgrade a few more houses. Maybe just two. I feel like it won't be long till we get into the big waves. And I've heard in this game, your waves, they start attacking from multiple sides. Yeah, definitely not ideal. We want to watch out for that. Now, I'm going to keep building catapults. I feel like they were pretty important last time. Did I research the catapult thing? No, let's research big rocks. That will definitely help us. Oh, look over here. We can put a trebuchet on the big tower. Oh, look at it. What the hell? What are you shooting? Oh, shooting people over there. <laughs> Man, it's more aggro than the catapult next to it. You crazy mofo. Oh, it is actually going to aggro those people as well. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's pretty good, actually. I'm liking the trebuchets. Let's get all of these on the massive towers. And then let's just build some more, I guess. They seem pretty awesome. And then we're a bit shy on iron as well. So I might put a new iron mine up in that one. All right, so catapults. I'm just going to fill up all of my towers, basically. Obviously, we don't know where we're going to be attacked from. Once we do, we'll rearrange again. If we just try and cover everything, we should be good. All right, so we've now researched the bigger rocks. I might do the same for the trebuchet. Shrapnel projectiles, 15% hit area. Yeah, that sounds good to me. We'll have some of that. We're literally just going all out siege machine. Screw the armies. Though saying that, I wouldn't mind some crossbowmen to go on the gates like over here. We're a bit short of people over here i think well not as much as up here i'm just fully gambling they're not going to come from this end <laughs> so i feel like we've got like an awesome awesome castle we got walls like all the way around and then up here it's just nothing like the back door is well and truly unlocked nice lots of crossbows so we'll keep filling things up put the trebuchets on the mega towers oh oh here we go here we go look so we're going to be attacked from two locations this time oh no it's happened it's happened let's just hit pause so one end is it is down here okay i'll tell you what then i might build another massive tower maybe two one to go there one to go there and then we can take the trebuchets off of these and bring them down here ready the catapults on these walls we may as well take them off because nothing's attacking this side of the base and then we'll take them over to here where they're needed so i don't know where they're going to attack from is it going to be up there come down to this wall or are they going to be over this wall i should probably put them on both just in case all right so they're all moving that's good so let's build another massive tower up here just in case do we have more we do have more trebuchets so i'll put one over there oh look there's a cheeky catapult there so you can go on that tower and then crossbow guys we'll shove you on this gate all right so we've got 50 seconds i'm pretty sure as soon as the sun rises we're gonna be attacked i just really don't know where they're gonna come from this one i hope it's down this way rather than up the top but we'll have to see all right there you go the timer is up so they're gonna be attacking from that end and then they're going to be attacking from this end as well. Can we see where they're coming from? Oh, trebuchets are done. Get on there, mate. Get on there as well. Oh, look, look. We got our first wave. Oh, the trebuchets. Oh, man, there's so many people. Look how wide it is. They're literally attacking from everywhere. Although trebuchets are doing the damage. That is insane. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. 
Where are they coming from up here, though? Oh, they're coming from there. Okay, trebuchets, get on. I haven't put them on yet. Oh, they are getting mullered. They are getting mullered. Ready? Boosh. <laughs> All right, better close the gate. Better safe than sorry. And then over here... Ooh, ooh. Better close the gate as well. Just about shut it before people snuck in. Can we do this without me using an astral ray? I wouldn't mind saving the old crystals. Doing some damage still. Are they a bit close to the trebuchets or are they still working? No, they're still hitting. They're still hitting. Okay, I think we're good down there. Up here. Oh, that is a lot of people. <laughs> right, this one might need my help. Although trebuchets really are doing the damage. I'm just worried about this tower. Look how much health it's got. Hold on, little tower. Hold on. Oh, I think it's going to go down. It's going to fall. I don't know what happens to the catapult. Oh, he's just in the middle of it. Run away, catapult. Run away. <laughs> Run. No, he's dead. Right, they have broken through the ranks. Although they're all grouped together. They just got mullered by something. Oh, no. Down comes the watchtower. That was horrible to see. Oh, they've snuck in. They've probably snuck in. Right, let's just pause quickly. I need to grab some troops. No, we, we don't have any troops. Where are my troops? <laughs> okay, we better build some troops quickly. Let's just build like six spearmen or something. Oh, they are, they are getting mullered by trebuchets and stuff. Okay, we just about survived the double wave. That was pretty terrifying. Not gonna lie. Uh, trebuchets definitely the way forward uh, so let's rebuild walls all right so we've got some spearmen now i should probably put them up here maybe i just feel like this is our weakest area if we get an attack from up there we're literally done um, but yeah I, I'm, I'm impressed with that we did really well in my opinion good work everyone let's keep building trebuchets i'm literally thinking up here rather than bothering doing walls i might just do stone towers like as a wall like i can't see anything getting past that <laughs> <laughs> and walls just seem pointless. Like, I may as well have trebuchets everywhere. If we just make these overlap a little bit, well, maybe we could use a gate. But otherwise, we're just going to have a massive wall of towers along there, I reckon. Uh, what other research would be worth doing? We can create trebuchets faster. I'm not sure there's anything else I want that much, really. Uh, although I do I do need some more wood. So you, Mr. Tree Man, who's not cutting anything down, we're going to move your radius to there. I'm sure that's his actual job title as well, Mr. Tree Man. <laughs> All right, we're out of stone there so let's demolish that our wall tower is coming along nicely let's start sending the trebuchets up there and keep building them basically is there anything else to unlock there's a workshop that gives 20 percent efficiency for producing buildings within radius oh and also a forester's cabin yeah i forgot about that so that will actually plant trees for us i'll tell you what that could be really useful actually save us going too far maybe we'll bung one of those there oh no all the fish nados are getting completely mullered so as we're demolishing lots of those maybe we should upgrade another farm oh and if you look at the upgraded farm it's got a massive windmill on it yeah let's upgrade that one let's get some more food and then we should probably find some stone mines to build perhaps up here i think we'll just build that one for for now that should be good enough for now i think it's just focusing on defenses so more trebuchets oh look how many are built get them all up here <laughs> i bet they don't attack from that direction now i feel like we haven't been attacked from that end though that's my only reason for doing it and um, we could use some catapults for this one i think so what does a catapult cost trump change to me now we'll build five of those all right and as these catapults get built i'm gonna shove them on these towers over here well i've just noticed this wall that got attacked just then we're missing a bit of wall we better plonk that in oh man i really want to get attacked from this end now <laughs> Just all the trebuchets. It is beautiful. Right, and I better upgrade a couple of houses. Uh, just because we literally have no space for anyone. And if we need to build an army suddenly. I don't want to be caught with my pants down. Right, we don't have any gold at the moment. So we can't actually afford a trebuchet. So I'm going to go back to the marketplace. We're going to do a bit of trading. We want some gold. We're going to trade probably some iron. Let's get 10 gold for 100 iron. So we'll trade that. And that's 10 more trebuchets we can afford. <laughs> we got to keep building mega towers. And there we go. They will all be built. <laughs> it is going to be beautiful. Although no, my luck, we literally won't get attacked from there, will we? It will be like this side again. Oh, and look, I think. Yeah, look, these trees here, they're new ones planted by the forester's cabin. Nice. Oh, and look, 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 look. We're being attacked. Only one wave this time, not two. And they're coming from that direction. So hopefully they'll come down this side, but I don't think they will. I think they're going to go down this side. I tell you what, I might build another massive tower when I've got the wood. So if we plonk that there, and then we'll build a trebuchet or two, and then we'll send them over to there, and a few more up this way. All right, and then got two seconds left they're gonna attack it's gonna be from this end i probably should have moved like some of these guys up there that probably makes sense let's actually 
get all these trebuchets off the top of their towers. We may as well just bring them up there for like moral support. Well, not just moral support, also... <laughs> <laughs> also military support physical support all right and here they come oh and there come the trebuchet hits remember they're 15 percent bigger now and the catapult ones are 25 percent bigger uh, i am gonna close the gates just in case a little bit scared quite a lot of people are oh, they're coming from up there as well which means yeah these trebuchets are hitting them no oh there's so many people <laughs> thankfully the trebuchets are doing the business even the ones down here are hitting so i think the trebuchet is the superior siege weapon. But more are arriving as well. That's weird. Earlier waves, they brought their own siege machines. They had like catapults and stuff. These later ones, they don't seem to. Oh man, it's, it's literally endless. Like they're just coming through the woods constantly. Uh, we seem to be coping though. We seem to be coping. We got so many trebuchets back here helping as well. <laughs> and these three, proud of you guys, shooting over the rocks. Oh, look at that damage. <laughs> Right, but they have been well and truly thinned out. I don't think they're even going to touch my wall. And there we go. <laughs> when there's like two or three left, it's just brutal. There's like so many hits coming in. All right, let's open the gates back up then. Okay, going to send the trebuchets back to their original towers. Uh, I just think it's better to have everything spread out just because I don't think we really have the time to move things last minute. But uh, look at my castle. I am impressed with myself. All right, I may as well research hygiene. That reduces the speed spread of disease by 25%. Uh, never a bad thing. Yeah, I guess I should do a massive tower or two up here just in case. Maybe down in this corner. Then I feel like we're massively covered. I'm getting a bit cocky. I feel like we can do anything now. We haven't even got the top tiered walls yet. So all of these ones, they have a bit of iron in them. So they're even stronger. So what if we look to upgrade one of these? Let's just see. I want to see what it looks like when it's done. So we'll do the gate. We'll do the two towers. Oh man, I've just built so many trebuchets as well. <laughs> Look at them all. Oh, look, here we go. They're upgraded. Oh, they're even taller. Ooh, that's quite cool. They're really huge. Like, compare them to over there. They're massive. I want, do they have more range? Additional observing range, 40%. Additional firing range, 40%. If we click on a normal tower, 30%. Oh, yeah, they do then. Well, that is good to know. I'm going to go into the market and just get some more gold. I think I'm going to send wood now. Got a lot of wood. Yeah, looking at this, we've got two days until the attack. They attack on day 54. It's currently day 52. I might upgrade all these walls and things. I think particularly these areas where there aren't that many defenses might be worth upgrading everything. Oh no, we've run out of more fish nados. So demolish. Thankfully, food hasn't really been a problem since. Like the farms really did save us. I've only got two farms as well. Or is that one? Oh, that's another farm. Let's upgrade that thing. It's always good to be up on food. Uh, we are going to have to explore some stone soon. Like nearly all of our stone mines are done. So, oh, look, look, we're being attacked from down this end. So all these trebuchets up here, <laughs> absolutely useless. What a surprise. I will take a load over, actually. Since they're only attacking from one side, we may as well. All right, and then we can arrange them in that formation. <laughs> There's so many. I'll tell you what, I might send this little Spider-Man. Do you reckon we can, like, do a solo mission to go get that crystal? So we've got 15, and that's three astral rays. Yeah, there he goes, there he goes. He's got it, and I think he's he's down. Is he down? No, he's he's defended himself. Fair play. All right, come back. You are a hero. <laughs> get back, get back. All right, he's trying to outrun the horde. Thankfully, we've got trebuchets and catapults doing the damage. This lumberjack is just going straight in. He's like, I got trees to chop. I won't chop themselves. Actually, I've changed my mind. <laughs> Right, once those guys are in, we are going to shut the gate behind them. Boosh, there we go. Gate is down. Look at all these trebuchets. Oh, that is a sight to behold. That is beautiful. I would love to get the comets and the astral rays involved as well, though. They have actually made it to our walls, which is a massive shame. This is so cool. Look how many there are. Look at my castle. It's wicked. But yeah, just fast forwarding through that, because this middle horde is pretty endless. Like, what is going on? They're literally not even getting close. They are never ending. I think it's just funneled them. That's why. Oh, the ones at the back must have zero morale. Gotta feel bad for him. All right, but yeah, that is a wave completed. Let's open the gates back up. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna start putting trebuchets back on the posts and then we'll just wait and see where the next attack comes from. Our food storage is completely full, so I might upgrade a granary, maybe two of them, and then I guess I'll just keep building massive towers. We really need some stone. I might sell, I might go to the market and sell some wood for some stone. 300 wood for 75 stone. That's a ripoff. I'd rather have seven gold, I think. Yeah, sod it. I'm getting gold. We don't need stone. We do actually need stone. I'm gonna, I might put some mines in these ones. So yeah, we've, we've now mined everything within our walls. Like over here, these 
these are both done so we can demolish both of them down here this one's done as well yeah this game has super steep learning curve but i feel like i'm at the point where i can't really lose anymore uh, which i'm not complaining about in the slightest but uh, i am just playing the game at full speed and uh, we'll, we'll see how long we survive oh no oh no i think i spoke too soon we've got three waves attacking now so one from up here which i think we can probably cope with but then two waves down here oh dear okay let's get trebuchets lined up probably do with another massive tower or two down here we're not producing enough stone though i really need my mines to start doing something i might even shove a mine on these two around here let's open that wall around here we're out of stone there so demolish that we're also out of stone there yeah everything within our walls are mullered but yeah hopefully i can do this one without moving too many trebuchets it's quite annoying move them all down uh, but we might need some up there all right so here's the double wave attacking <laughs> ah, trebuchets for the win. Unfortunately, this one's got stuck. He's like stuck in the... Uh... <laughs> in the farm. Must be like a damp bit of soil or something. So he won't be helping us. Hopefully we have enough. They're quite spread out though. Yeah, quite a lot of them. And then over here. Oh man, that's a hell of a wave. That is a hell of a wave. They just destroyed our new... Oh, they're destroying them. Our new stone mines are no more. Uh, let's close the gates as well. Safety first. Oh, I should probably close these gates as well, Matt. Oh, I've just shot Spider-Man outside. <laughs> hold, hold door. Hold the door. Hold. Uh, are these walls okay? Yeah, these walls are fine. They're not even upgraded. Oh, look when the next attack is. Day 69. I uh, probably shouldn't get ahead of myself yet. We're, we're still we're still defending. Although, to be honest, we're doing great. We're doing great. Let's speed up. You can see the left side. Not even getting close. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, but yeah, we really need to replace those stone mines. Because uh, we literally, we don't have any other stone to mine at the moment. There is one up there, but it's miles away. I guess we could do these. Oh, there you go. There is something else to build. A university. So university, it speeds up research. But anyway, let's keep selling wood. And let's keep building building trebuchets. <laughs> oh, I've just noticed as well, these middle houses are not getting upgraded because builders can't reach them because there's no gaps between the houses. They can only get the outer ones. Something to bear in mind next time, I think. And I love just maxing out. All right, the next wave is just a single wave, wave 10. I won't even bother with that one, although it is finally up in this direction. So we can see how our trebuchet only defense copes. I hope it does cope. All right, they're coming. You can see they're coming. Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think trebuchet only is absolutely fine. Although they are getting a little bit close. Oh god. Come on, guys. <laughs> How's that tower? Oh, it's got loads of health. It has got loads of health. Yeah, this could be the tactic then. Don't bother with walls. Don't bother with troops. Just go all out trebuchets. Oh, God. Actually, that one's getting a bit mullered. Oh, they're attacking down there as well. All right, we better go back to normal speed. Oh, God. How are the walls down there? They're okay. I did not expect a double attack. Cheeky buggers. We've still got some hit points left. It's a bit sketchy, though. Yeah, they've destroyed all of our mines yet again. Cheers. Yeah, pricks. Uh, trebuchets at the back doing the damage. Just love to see everyone working together. It's a beautiful sight. Uh, up here, looks like we survived. And now these guys are helping out over there as well. Hitting over the rocks. Yes. <laughs> right, nice. Next up might be worth upgrading all of these. At least down to there, maybe. And then as these towers took a beating... Maybe we'll upgrade these as well. Oh, look at these towers. Look at these towers. We've upgraded those four. So they've got 2,080 hit points compared to just 1,400. So that's a hell of an upgrade. They've even got lights. I feel like we should probably upgrade the barracks. It gives us access to the hammer guy and the horseman. But honestly, when you got this many trebuchets... <laughs> <laughs> is there any point? I don't know. Another row of trebuchets. <laughs> Holy crap in a sock. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Look at that. That's actually a lot of people. What the hell? So this is wave 12. Oh, that is so many people. That is really cool. Like literally a sea of people. Uh, probably should shut the gate. Uh, they're actually mullering my walls quite badly, actually. Oh, God. We might lose some towers and walls here. I might astral rate. Get back. Oh god, that didn't do too much. They've destroyed a wall. The gates come down. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right, come on, you three or four archers. Hold. Hold. All right, let's see what we need. More trebuchets. Come on over. Oh no, this wall got decimated. That was so many people. Right, we got some repair work to do then. So looking at the map, we're completely surrounded. We're being attacked from every side. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
I mean, thankfully, we have waves and waves of trebuchets around every side. Oh, they've never attacked from up here before, though. I'm still building a few more trebuchets, so we might bring them up over here. Oh, look. And they've got catapults now. That's not good. And the gate is open. That's also not good. Close the gates. <laughs> uh, they're catapulting us. All right, I'm telling these guys to target the catapults. All right, this trebuchet, it should be coming closer so he can hit them. I don't know where he's doing. Sod it, mate. Just go back to where you were. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile over here that wall's okay i made these walls really strong so that's fine same up here they haven't even got to our walls yet they're focusing on our mine you idiots yeah down here we've lost some walls because there's a lot of catapults but uh, they've all grouped together so i doubt they'll last too long oh god look at all those catapults as well <laughs> look in this sky there's just <laughs> there's just balls for days don't take that out of context all right so this side completely fine well not completely fine we did lose some builders we lost some walls now over here looks like they can't even get close which i'm very pleased with up here same sort of thing they do have some catapults coming but it seems fine so i think we'll rebuild these walls in the super strong ones and we'll upgrade all of these walls oh no they're catapult they're just mullering our workers hey they're just carrying rocks and they're being catapulted <laughs> <laughs> That's really not very fair, guys. Man, those workers are really taking a beating from their catapult. There's so many of them. That's really annoying that they're taking out my mines, but I will rebuild it quickly. All right, so the next attack is day 94. All right, so day 94 is nearly here. Attack wave 12, or is it 13? I think 13. Yes, attack wave 13. And look, we are completely surrounded. All sides are going to be attacked. Uh, thankfully, I have upgraded all of my walls now. They're all the super heavy type. Uh, all I haven't done are these towers along this edge. Perhaps I should just upgrade those. And I might just build 10 more trebuchets as well, just in case. All right, so the first waves are coming from up here. This is our trebuchet only wall. And no, the game says no. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Thankfully, I have my auto save set to every one minute. So we should be good to carry on as long as the game can actually cope with this many waves of attacks. So yeah, up here is the first attack. I will close these walls, although I feel kind of bad. I've like shut this blown people out. I'll open the wall again. I'll open it again. I'll open it again. Turn around. Turn around. You can go back. I've opened the wall. I've opened the wall. Oh, they've, they've just gone back to work. All right. Unfortunately, they've made it to our towers already. We could really do with some big hits. Although it looks like the wave is thinning out. Yeah, I think we survived that wave. Let's go see how the rest is getting on. Oh, God. Down here. I'm glad I just upgraded this. There's so many people. <laughs> look at them all. Man, they weren't joking when they said they're literally coming from everywhere. Man, look at all the trebuchets we've got, though. <laughs> So much engineering has gone into this castle. It is fantastic. Man, I really, really want to meet you in here, but it's such a waste. All right, let's fast forward, see how we get on. You can see, like, the numbers going down. It's quite cool, actually. Quite interesting. Will they get through that wall? We survived this side. How about this battle? Definitely surviving. All right, we've just hit day 100. We actually survived into triple digit days. Yeah, and I'm very intrigued to see how we're going to cope with the next wave of attack. The last one was pretty brutal, uh, but we are we are surviving so easily now, especially if we upgrade these last two towers and then we are completely mega walled up. Yeah, you just pushed the one that was stuck out of the farm. <laughs> the one that was stuck in the mud. <laughs> it's no longer stuck. Nice. So we just gained a free trebuchet, basically. Uh, and, and it's happened again. I think this might be the limit of the game. I'm not sure you're meant to survive this long. But anyway, guys, that was a lot of fun. We survived 100 days in diplomacy is not an option. The trebuchet is the superior siege weapon. And Paddy is a cute dog. And on that, I'll say peace, love, and trebuchets. Bye, guys.